as around the world, people are very happy to live near the sea. But living with the sea is challenging too. In the Netherlands, we have always been placing our dikes further and further into the sea, to protect ourselves and to gain more fertile land. Behind these dikes, polders have emerged and the land developed into the typical landscape as we know today. But what will happen in the future? Those pretty polders produce a lot of food, but also face some major challenges. The land is subsiding while the sea level is rising. Saltwater intrudes into the land and saline soil is not good for growing crops. And if we want to keep our feet dry, we will have to keep raising our dikes. But do we want to live behind such a high raised dike or are there other opportunities? We can also use nature to help keep us safe. This is not a new idea. Dunes, for example, have been protecting us against the sea for centuries. But other ecosystems can also serve as protection. The Netherlands is surrounded by dikes that keep the seawater out. Behind the latest dikes, the older dikes are still functional. So we can start by carefully breaching some of the new dikes, letting water in between the old and the new dike. This creates a sheltered basin that is perfect for growing mussels and fish. Due to the tidal flow, sediment accumulates in the basin, so the low-lying land automatically rises with the rising sea. And then a characteristic salt marsh ecosystem develops that stores CO2 and helps mitigate climate change. And when ultimately the land is high and dry, the soil is very fertile and ready for agriculture. Because of the natural accretion of the land, the double dike system is an efficient solution that brings extra safety. Instead of a country surrounded by one sky-high dike, we can also use nature to help keep us safe. <laughs>